if you've never played around with Python, at least just mess around with it. You hear Python this, Python that, Python and AI, Python and QA, Python and data science. Python is extremely popular and everybody is trying to learn Python. So if you never really explored, if you never played with it, why not play with it? It is so easy and most likely you already have it on your computer. So I'm going to show you how to check if you have it or not and how you get started um, to play with it. And going forward, I'll create more videos to just help you get started and actually write some code, right? So let me start on Windows. How do you check if you have it or not? On Mac, I'm pretty sure you have it. It's, it's guaranteed you already have it, but I'll show you how to check. So I'm going to go to my Windows. What you're going to do is you're going to open your command prompt. So go to search search for command, you're going to see this command prompt. You open it, this terminal thing where the CMD opens up, don't be scared of it. It's nothing but for you to tell the computer what to do. You're just going to put orders. Instead of using a mouse to tell it what to do, you're going to use a keyboard to tell the computer what to do. That's all it is. You're basically talking to it. So do not get intimidated by this um, terminal window or the command prompt. So all you have to do is type where Python and you're going to see a bunch of things show up like this. If nothing shows up, then you don't have Python. If only this line here shows up, then it's not going to work for you. You don't have it basically. If it says this app data, local Microsoft, if you see that, then you probably don't have it. Okay. So you need something like this program files in the Python version. If none of this shows up, all you have to do is just Google on how to install Python. It's going to take you to a python.org. Just go ahead, download it and click on download whatever version is available right now. And when, when you open that installer, you're going to see a window like this. Make sure you select this. That's the one point I really want to make. Make sure you select this add Python to pass. That's important because so you don't have to add it later on. And then just click on install now and bam, within, within seconds, you will have Python installed on a Mac. Open your terminal for search is command space. If you type command space, the search will show up and open terminal in the terminal you're going to do which python or you're going to do which python 3 in fact do which python 3 right and that will show you which python 3 you have available if you, if something shows up like this then you have it if so, like say if i say python 4 which doesn't exist you're going to get something that says not found that means you don't have it so on windows to see if you have it or not you're going to do where that's the equivalent command where python or where python 3 one of the two try both of them where python or where python 3 if you see something like this then you don't have it app local microsoft blah blah that that version doesn't work if you're on a windows a switch it's, those are commands to see where executables are in your machine once you have it just type python hit enter and you will be inside of python to exit you do exit open close parentheses like that um, and you're out 